was listening to you all when you said put the camera in the portrait mode, sorry, out of portrait into landscape mode, so I've done that. It does mean it falls over occasionally. What we're going to do first, we're going to take some oil. I've got a bottle of quite poncy olive oil here, but you can use vegetable oil. You could probably use lard if that's your thing, I don't know. Splash of that in the pan. Don't need a huge amount. Remember, there's quite a lot of fat and juice in the meat and so on. That's about, I don't know, a heaped tablespoon, a heaped teaspoon of oil. Turn that on. Obviously it won't work because everything in here is broken. Yow. Let the pan heat up. Meanwhile, potatoes. Fill your potato boiling pot with cold water. Not hot. I know it's tempting, but for some reason, I don't know exactly why, it will actually boil more evenly if you start from cold. There's the water. Into that we add just a little pinch of our cooking salt. Stick the bits of potato in there. That pan's a bit on the small side to be honest, but never mind. It'll be fine. Put the lid on so we don't waste gas, heating the room up. And that isn't going to work either. So. There you go, potatoes are on, the oil is heating up. Are we ready? Just give it a few seconds. Mm. Now that's pretty good. You can actually tell when the oil is getting nice and hot. Well, eventually you can tell the oil is getting hot because your kitchen burns down. But in the meantime, it becomes runnier. It's actually smoking a bit. If I toss a bit of onion in, there you go, makes a noise. Sizzling. I'm going to turn that down slightly. So here we go. Don't want the mushrooms yet. In goes the pile of onion. Well, hey, listen to that. I'm not prepared because I haven't got the thing where exactly there it is. Should really use a wooden one for this, but I broke the wooden one the other day. Give it an initial stir so that it doesn't stick to the pan. There you go, the onions are fried. What you're looking for is the onions just starting to turn clear. You don't want them to go brown, you don't want them to caramelise or anything like that. They're just starting to look a little bit translucent. And don't forget, I'm going to add the meat later, the onions will continue to cook, so it's important you don't overdo them. Good, tiny bit more heat. You just want them to keep sizzling away excitedly. Then we can put in the little pieces of chilli, as long as we want the flavour and the heat to come out of those, go into the general juicy background of the whole concoction. There we go. Those can continue to fry, probably for something like, I don't know, two minutes, maybe it's three minutes, I don't know, it doesn't matter, you'll see and you'll sense when it's right. Don't put any pepper in. While you're cooking, pepper burns, salt cooks. That's the rule. I've been told that by a leading chef. Right, can you see from that that the onion is starting to look like cooked onion? It's going very slightly translucent. It's going nice and shiny. That's where we want to be. We don't want to overdo it, remember, because we're going to add the meat. Everything will continue cooking. Stand by. <laughs> 